SSE Thermal is part of SSE PLC, one of the UK's largest energy companies and a principal partner to COP26. As we transition to net zero, we know renewable energy will do the heavy lifting. And we're proud that SSE is leading the way forward on that front. At the same time, we know we need flexible power generation on the grid to back up that renewable energy. We're pioneering carbon capture and hydrogen solutions to decarbonize our power generation and provide essential flexibility to the electricity system. Through our partnership with Equinor, we're developing two of the UK's first power stations equipped with carbon capture technology at our Keepy and Peterhead sites. Over the years, Peterhead Power Station has transitioned from being an oil-fired power station to a gas-fired power station. In the future, we're looking to decarbonise that even further. It's important for any project to be a success to have the correct people in the right place at the right time as well. Over the last few years here at Peterhead, we've been building for the future. This year alone, we've started 10 apprentices, seven of those in the craft disciplines. So a craft apprentice is someone that uh, will go out and actually fulfil the jobs and complete them. There's different types of craft apprenticeships. There's electrical control and instrumentation, and there's mechanical, which is what I do. The low carbon uh, plant is really exciting for me. At least it shows a, a good broad into the future, and it shows us there is something for apprenticeships that we can go and do. Having a low carbon power station is good for me and the other new apprentices. It gives us something solid to look forward to going forward in our apprenticeships. It's a really exciting time to be working in the energy sector, particularly for SSE Thermal, as a number of the challenges we're facing with the energy transition are allowing us to develop a number of exciting and first-of-a-kind projects. While I was studying at university, I was always interested in the energy sector. And I think I've been really lucky in the time that I graduated as I've had the chance to work on a number of different and really interesting projects. And now I get the chance to develop my skills further with low carbon technologies as well. Meanwhile, we're also working with Equinor on world leading hydrogen projects. At Keepy in North Lincolnshire, we're progressing plans for the first major 100% hydrogen fueled power station, producing zero emissions at the point of combustion. And on the East Yorkshire coast, we're aiming to create one of the world's largest low carbon hydrogen storage facilities. And we know storage will play a crucial role in balancing production and demand as the hydrogen economy grows. I've got family that work in the energy industry and it was always something taught to me as a young age to get into. All the transition into a hydrogen future is really exciting. Being part of a younger generation, it creates a lot more jobs for us, a lot more jobs in the local area. I really enjoy working for SSE because there's lots of different learning opportunities, lots of different things I can do and new things I can develop my learning into. As we transition to net zero, it's crucial that we do so in a fair and just way. We're focused on repurposing our power stations for a net zero future, safeguarding jobs and investment and creating opportunities for the next generation. We work really closely alongside our communities to help them understand the benefits that these projects can bring. It's not only about raising awareness of the projects themselves, it's about helping the communities understand the benefits that they can bring. So things like long-term skilled employment, supply chain growth, the, the huge far-reaching socio-economic benefits of these projects is something that we really want communities to see. This year's COP26 summit couldn't come at a more pivotal moment for our industry. As a principal partner, we're committed to doing all we can to tackle the climate crisis and build a cleaner, more sustainable future for generations to come. Now is probably the most exciting time to be involved in this industry um, and working for a company that, that really wants to lead from the front and be creating first-of-a-kind technologies and providing the opportunities that go along with that. COP26 is important to me because I'm part of the younger generation so it's really important for my future and to get to be a part of the journey towards net zero is something really exciting for me. So major decisions and changes are going to be made at COP26 over the next few weeks and I feel really privileged to work for a company who are directly at the forefront of making these changes and leading the way in developing low carbon technologies. And by taking the lead on CCS and hydrogen, we can help show the world the way to a credible, just and affordable net zero future.